Hey guys, if you like software testing and my education videos, please subscribe to this channel. And you can also fully purchase my education on Udemy only for $9.99 by using my promo code. You can find the promotion code at the description. So now let's start learning SQL together. Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about SQL and basic database terminology. Let's start. What is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's a standard language for accessing and manipulating databases. Using SQL, some of the actions we could do are to create databases, tables, execute queries, retrieve, insert, update, delete data against a database. Most of the modern applications use databases to keep their data. Therefore, it is important for software testers to have a basic understanding of SQL and query language. Don't worry. It's not complex, and in this section, we will learn enough to be able to perform database testing. Imagine you are testing a mobile application where users can enter their name, surname, birthday, and nationality. In this case, our application will save this data to its database. By using SQL queries, you can reach user information in the database, you can insert new users for testing, you can update or even directly delete users. Probably on production level, you won't have access to any database since it's all real user's information and includes sensitive data, all user information, account information, etc. But on the testing environment, SQL is a great tool to test and verify if the application store and retrieve the data correctly. You can also insert new users or fields to create test data. These are just simple examples to show you guys what you can achieve by using SQL queries. To be able to use SQL on your computers, Firstly, we need a SQL Server running on the same or remote device. For this course, I choose pgAdmin4 and PostgreSQL. These are both open source applications and they both work perfect on multiple platforms. You can use it with your Windows, Mac or Linux computers. I will go through all the installation steps with you guys. Database terminology. So let's go through some common database terminology that should be useful for you when we are working with the databases in this section of the course. And the idea here is that it will make it a lot easier to understand the app when you understand what the fundamentals are and what all the actual various terms mean. At very basic level, the database means the container for all the data that you store. Now, when you use the term database, you are referring to the entire data as well as the structure it's actually stored in and in addition any queries and views on that data. Table is a collection of related data held in the database. So think of a contact database, for example, that stores the name and the address and the phone number or perhaps your customer. So we have a contact table that used to store contacts data. Microsoft SQL Server is ideal for storing structured data that can be organized neatly rows and columns like similar to this example. Field is the basic unit of data in a table. In this example, contacts table has name, address, and phone number fields. Database fields can store different type of data. For example, it can be strings, integers, even sometimes pictures. Column is ender name for the field. If you have Excel background, you may find it confusing. In SQL, column refers for a single entry. Row or record is a single set of data containing all the columns in a table. In this example, contact table has three rows. In each row, you can see a name, address, and phone number field. That's it. In next video, we will go through the necessary installation steps and set up our first SQL server. Thank you very much for watching, and let's continue learning together.